Back in 2005, Chrysler made a big splash in the automotive scene with the bold 300 full-size sedan. Since then, the competition has really stepped up its game. Hyundai has a new Azera, Buick has a new LaCrosse, and Ford has a new Taurus. Chrysler says the new 300 with features and powertrains are going to really beat the competition. Hi, I'm Joel Fetter with High Gear Media, and today we're going to view the Chrysler 300. <laughs> The first thing you'll notice with the exterior of the new Chrysler 300 is how the styling has been somewhat toned down over the previous generation. While it's still bold and it's muted, the looks are more luxurious. The greenhouse features more glass than the previous generation, and all models feature projector headlights with LED eyeliner as jewelry. The base car we have features 17-inch alloy wheels, with some models featuring up to 20-inch alloys. We really like the intricate stamping on the rear quarter panels as well. The front seats in the Chrysler 300 are very comfortable. There's plenty of head and legroom, and it's a very nice compromise between side bolstering and width. Our test car is actually a base model with a price tag around $28,000. An 8.4 inch LCD screen is standard, though our car has a 4.3 inch screen as a result of supply shortages after Japan's 2011 earthquake. If you see a 2012 Chrysler 300 with a small screen, it's in the same boat and earn the buyer $1,000 credit against the sticker price. Stepping up to the Hemi V8 brings you to just over $38,000 and gets you everything and go full out with the SRT8 model and you'll see a sticker price of nearly $49,000. Our tester has Chrysler's Uconnect voice command system which uses Bluetooth to give you the ability to use your phone hands free. Unfortunately this Bluetooth system isn't standard on the base 300 and that's a shame as we feel it's a safety item. Once you're in the back seat it feels spacious but getting in you might need to duck your head due to the roof line and knee room is limited. Under the hood of our 300 tester you're going to find the Pentastar 3.6 liter V6 it's a new engine and it's rated at 292 horsepower. Now if you need more power, there's an available 5.7 liter Hemi V8 producing 363 horsepower. If you have to have it all, there's a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 producing 470 horsepower. That's in the SRT8 model, of course. Now all 300 models except the SRT8 are available with rear wheel or all wheel drive. The V6 engine is connected to an 8 speed automatic transmission, while both the V8s are connected to 5 speed transmissions, for now. But the 8 speeds are on the way. The EPA rates the V6 powertrain at 19 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon on the highway in rear-wheel drive form and 18 miles per gallon in the city and 27 miles per gallon on the highway with all-wheel drive. Stepping up to the Hemi V8, the range dropped down to 16 miles per gallon in the city and 25 miles per gallon on the highway with rear-wheel drive. Adding all-wheel drive takes those down to 15 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway. Driving-wise, the 8-speed automatic transmission is exactly what the Chrysler 300 needed. It makes the V6 a very reasonable choice. Now it doesn't drive like a small car, but the body motions are controlled and it's not very pitchy. The steering is very secure on center. Safety wise, the Chrysler 300 is a top safety pick by the IIHS. It features all the usual airbags and safety control systems such as analog brakes, stability control, and traffic control. Upper trim level models feature a safety package that includes blind spot monitoring system, forward collision warning system, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, and parking sensors. So what's the bottom line with the 2012 Chrysler 300? Well, it's more mature than ever, it has classic good looks, and it wears American heritage as a rear-wheel drive sedan. For all the latest automotive news and reviews, be sure you're following us at twitter.com backslash car connection and facebook.com backslash the car connection. I'm Joel Fetter with High Gear Media, and this has been our review of the 2012 Chrysler 300.